I'll tell you, a pretty active weekend with weather. We had the icy conditions as well as aggravated flooding conditions across the Wabash Valley area. Notice some of the rainfall that we've had this weekend. We had over an inch of rain in a lot of areas, and of course, temperatures have been plummeting today. That's leaving a lot of icy conditions across the area. We had some snow, some sleet, some freezing rain, some excellent video there by Kevin and Will. Uh, thank you for getting that. We had a lot of the icy conditions this afternoon. Again, with all the rain we had this weekend, that's what aggravated the flooding. Now, that rain has stayed on the roadways much of this evening, and we had quite a bit of rain, really. So with that rain staying on the roads and temperatures plummeting well below freezing this evening, there will be slick spots tomorrow morning. So make sure you take a little extra time as you head out the door. Let's look at some of the rainfall totals we had. Candy Teal and Chalmers, about an inch and a third there in White County. We had about an inch and a half here in Tippecanoe County. Big totals farther down to the southeast. Randy Rogers in Frankfort near three inches. This is all weekend long, so a lot of rainfall fell throughout the area. And again, temperatures crashing. This cold front is now advancing to the east. And check it out, the highs today got to 38 here in Lafayette, but look up towards Fort Wayne. 52 degrees the high there, 66 in Cincinnati, but that's a far cry from where we are now. Temperatures dropping dramatically. 19 right now in Lafayette, 23 in Terre Haute. So well below freezing here. Again, icing conditions not going to have a hard time uh, occurring overnight tonight into tomorrow morning on the roadways. And we will see a decrease in cloud cover throughout the overnight hours, and that's going to allow these temperatures to fall even further. So winter is making a comeback. We had a brief taste of spring there for a little while, but uh, no, not for very much longer. As you can see, this cold front starting to advance to the east locally, starting to see a breakup in the cloud cover. We stuck with over, overcast skies really all day, but notice the clearing trend off to the west. Here in Newton, Jasper County, even Benton County, starting to get into the clearer skies. And again, these temperatures will fall through the overnight hours with those clearer skies. We're done with precipitation for the next several days. In fact, it looks like a quiet weather pattern, a more near average weather pattern setting in across the area over the next really week or so. Overnight tonight, we'll go down to the mid to even lower teens. Some of you may even get to the single digits, especially the farther northwest of Lafayette you are. We're going to go 13 Morocco tonight, 14 in Fowler, and 14 degrees below tonight here in Lafayette. Tomorrow, future cast isn't going to show much. We'll have mostly clear skies for really the entire day, and temperatures are going to have a big time struggling to get any warmer than the upper 20s. We'll go 22 degrees by the lunch hour, mostly clear skies. 28 degrees by 5, so really not too much of a, a beautiful day, but you know, the sun will be shining. It'll feel a little warmer than the upper 20s, but that's about as far as we'll go. And we're going to build in a pretty quiet weather pattern over the next several days. Really no big storm systems to be tracking over the next several days. The next chance of precipitation, it's not going to show up in the seven-day forecast. We may see a little bit of snow by the end of this week, but that would be flurries at best. Things just aren't looking too good at this point. 14 degrees, the low tonight. Again, we will move out. We've moved out all precipitation. We will continue to move out the cloud cover. And really, the seven-day forecast looks rather dry. 30 on Tuesday, 34 Wednesday. We're really just going to flirt with average temperatures over the next seven days. 36 Friday, that warm-up might be a little deceiving there next week. And 41 on Saturday, 37 Sunday. But see that blue arrow? I'm thinking we might get a pretty decent cold shot of air in here after the seven-day forecast. Models hint towards having highs back down into the middle 20s, maybe even a little bit colder. So it, winter has made its comeback. It always does. Wow, what a change from yesterday, though. Drastic change. <laughs> Near it was, what, 61 degrees yeah. the high here at the station. And you know, you saw Cincinnati got to 67 or so today. Unbelievable warmth that we had there for a little while. But uh, of course, old man winter will always win. Oh, of course, of course, especially in January when it's supposed to be cold. We really can't complain about no, it. No, we can't, <laughs> especially from last year. I mean, we can't complain with this year. It's not been too bad so far. All right, Jesse, thank you. And if anything else, it was a good day to be inside and watch some basketball. Great day to be inside. Great day to be a Boiler fan. Pretty much basketball team.